against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization, which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, So I know, evil, what if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Bolivia. We came here, we bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges. The politicians we were on the verge of becoming the government itself on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream of creating a narco state the nation of santa blanca Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the U.S. and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, Boss of bosses, El Swing. Now, I'm not entirely sure, but I think my mic was off when I thought it was on, and it was on when I thought it was off. So... In other words, I'm stupid. 
<laughs> so I so any kind of intro I did in the beginning I probably you know wasn't actually saying anything at all so if that's the case welcome back I am in Ghost Recon Wildlands the full released game I'm not too sure when it fully when it came out exactly. I think it came out uh, a few days ago. Yeah, fuck them rebels. But uh, but yeah, if that is the case, then I'm more than likely cut out some of that stuff in the beginning. And uh, you've seen all of it anyway in the beta. Nothing really changed from the beta. That a helicopter ride really. To the base, it was all kind of boring shit. So, if that is the case, I'm gonna go ahead and check it out right now. I will be right and Well, yeah, I'm gonna check it out and see what, see exactly what happened. Yep. All that shit was messed up, so, yep. <laughs> Alright, so really, I'm probably gonna cut this out after I'm done talking Woo! Lily but uh cuz again you've seen all this part in my uh, first two videos I did from the beta it's all pretty much the same shit so I will see you guys when I get to newer and relevant shit I want to speak the target switch to suppressors got eyes on the target let's move down. Tango down. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. Lo entiendes? Hang back, that tango might spy you. Engaging. That's a kill. Book the hornet's nest. is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aukas, these demons, they have questioning me. Let us see if talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri and Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while sweating your questions on his face. I want them dead. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. There were four people in the room the night DEA agent Ricky Sandoval was murdered. El Sueño, the head of the Santa Blanca cartel, Ricky, and the last two were La Yuri and El Polito. Yuri and Polito met at a poor state-run hospital in Chiapas, where El Polito was doing his residency, and La Yuri worked as a nurse. It was love at first sight. From the first moment their eyes met, they were inseparable. A love like no other. One day, a Buchan named La Plaga walked into the ER, all shot up. It was touch and go for a while, but Yuri and Polito were able to save his life. La Plaga was grateful. He showered them with gifts, invitations to the most exclusive parties, even a new car. And after a while, La Plaga made Yuri and Polito the personal medical staff of the Santa Blanca cartel. But that wasn't their main job. See, Yuri and Polito know about the human body. They know how much pain a person can endure before he'll die. 
They know how to keep a person alive and awake so they can feel the pain. And most of all, they know how to inflict that pain. That's what they do in Itaqua province. When Santa Blanca captures someone that refuses to talk, the Yuri and El Polito make them talk. They break people. Like I said, there were four people in the room the night Ricky Sandoval was murdered. Sueño, Ricky, Yuri, and Polito. They kept Ricky alive while Sueño tortured him. Non-stop, for 47 hours straight. They broke Ricky Sandoval. Then Sueño executed him. All right. Now that I've kind of gotten to a point where I was at in the beta, at least story-wise, uh, I can continue this shit. Alright, so, I just gathered, I believe, as much intel as I could on Yuri and Polito. Polito. Uh, I'm gonna head over to this shit right here. Let's do this shit. Alright, I'm good on ammo. Let's do this shit. Go ahead and park a little bit over here. Got some Buddha dead. Soldiers up ahead. How am I gonna break into this place? see about actually getting into the fucking place. Take him out stealthily. Ah, oh, bitch. That's your choice. But with a pair of sadistic fucks like Yuri and Polito, one day that might be you hanging from their ceiling. You can't trust them. It would be a relief if I took them out of your life. No, I'm not a snitch. But let's just say, yeah, they freaked me out. The thing is, they're not even in Itaqua. So call them back to Itaqua. Tell them you've got a package ready. Shot him in the fucking head anyway. His job was done. Alright, let's take out the rest of the Undead. <laughs> what the fuck? How's he going to fuck stick? That's great. Love it. See, this is why I need to stop convoys and shit. This one right here. Fire. Roger. Take him out. What the fuck? Come on, turn the fucking camera. Oh my god, you and your bullshit Lambo. Dang it, guys. 
I, sh I think I should head back to the Unidad base and take that helicopter. Make shit quicker. Think I will. Should do. Sound off with your spot polluters car. Fire, motherfuckers, fire! Ah, uh, that was... Oh shit, 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 shit! Where was the help? Should be the last one. Alright. Let's go take this motherfucker's car out for a joyride. They're not making this car as fast as it should be. Assault the son of a bitch. Shoot the shoot them bitches. Good God. Heads up. We got Looney Dead Convoy on the move. We got eyes on multiple vehicles, including a combo truck. Let's get after it. Go ahead. Opening fire. Target down. Okay, we're cool. Alright. Move on that. Ah, oh, right in the face. Took out his fucking leg. I don't think that's the intel here. The 
Okay, Rebel Ops, that's not it. But I will do it. No, oh, that was it. Okay. If he can get us to Yuri and Polito, it's worth it. Let's get it done. There are a lot of likely switches up here. Man, you'll never be driving anymore. Just because that one time. Let's go ahead and uh, take this helicopter and then I will end the video properly. Alright, well, that was eventful, I guess, a little bit. I will go ahead and call the video here. Thank you guys for watching. I will be putting out some more Ghost Recon videos here and there. They might be edited, might not. I'm not sure how I'm going to cut all this together, but I will figure that out. So, till then, see you guys in the next one, and peace out, guys.